Hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Yeah, good evening, Professor. I'm hearing you. Good evening. I'm hearing you. Okay, how are you? I'm good, good, Professor. Okay, did you check the previous all of file? Is it okay or what do you think? Okay, okay. Okay, so basically today I discuss about that prediction. Okay, so how we can easily make the future prediction of uh, land use and land cover classification. We discuss about that and we try to complete for the prediction part. Okay, so basically okay. Uh, which year do you want to predict? Uh, maybe up to 2050. 2050. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, up to 2050 number. Okay. So 20. But our, yeah. our concentration should be on informal settlements. Our projection should be on if urban prediction, informal settlement predictions. Yes. Okay. We also do it. Basically, I will try to make the full land use land cover classification prediction. Okay. So in, including the formal, informal, water body, vegetation, everything we including and make the prediction. Okay. So it also including the informal also. So we can easily identify for informal settlement where uh, for the future, for the future, where maybe uh, set up the informal settlement. We also try to identify from the uh, prediction map and also calculate the area. So you want to uh, predict for 2050? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, up to 2050. After 2050. Okay, only for the one year. Yeah. No. Yeah, maybe 2050 is okay. 2050. Okay. So basically, for that we need the two year. So basically. In the model, it predict for after basically it's different on the range. Okay, so we already make the map for land use land cover for two thousand, then two thousand ten, and, and two thousand twenty. So we make the ten years interval. Okay, ten years interval we make. So if I predict for now, I can predict two thousand thirty, then predict. 2040 and then predict 2050 okay suppose uh, in this case i if you need the 2050 so first of all we need to predict for 2030 then need to predict 2040 and then we need to predict 2050 so we try to iteration for three time we need to predict for three time 30 40 and 50 okay because our range is the 10 years okay so I'll show you the process, then we can easily do it also 2030, 40 and 50. Then we can take that 2015 data and make the final analysis. Okay, so let's go. So let me share my screen. Okay, can you see my screen? Is it visible? Okay, can you see my screen? See your screen. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now let's go. Okay, so first of all, I try to open my ArcMap software. Uh, okay, let me open.
and further i simply input my data so in this case i want to use this data suppose first of all i want to make further prediction for corner key so for that uh your data is stored in here where is it that yeah so this file so i want to work for the prediction corner key data ah. so this is my data so if i just open data mainly land use land cover data so 2000 then 1010 then 2020 okay so basically we have this type of data and now we try to make the prediction for 2030 40 and 50 because we have 10 years interval so if i just simulate the model then we find out the 10 years mainly 2030 okay so here we already know about that all of classes so let me add the class name so basically zero is for a uh, formal formal one is for informal uh three is for what is the three or two okay what's the class name formal informal and then welcome let me check yeah let me check yeah formal then oh. water body or one oh oh kakam mm. Okay, formal informal water forest and bear land. Okay, water forest, forest. and bear land. Okay. And bear land. Get the color. So I import the color. I already export the color. So, so this is the color I want to use. So apply. And okay, so I got this type of map for 2000. Then same as for uh, just I add the uh, name and properties. One is for formal and informal. Then uh, water, forest, and parallel. Okay, so same color we try to keep. So just color map and import color map so just I simply imported the color map for corner key apply and okay further for 2020 same as just properties and i put the name so this one is that formal formal water and it's a forest island same as just to keep for import color if we try to keep the same color from download i already download these things just import apply so this is our land use land cover map <coughs> for three years and we try to keep for 10 years interval okay Ten years instead, we try to keep in here. So now I want to make the prediction using these three land use land cover using the cellular automata, and also apply the artificial neural network. So for the cellular automata and artificial neural network, we have to use the QGIS software. So just I try to open it for QGIS software. <coughs> And QGIS software, we find out a plugin. This plugin called the Mollus plugin. So, using this Mollus plugin, we can easily predict for land use land cover using cellular automation or 
and artificial neural network we can easily apply and further we can easily check the accuracy for the prediction map so in this case you want to predict for 2050 so that's why we need to predict for three times suppose 2030 then 40 and 50 okay and then we generate the simulated map for three years 30 40 and 50 and also check the accuracy Okay, so it opening. So in this case, uh, first of all, you simply just loading. Okay, so here you can see the raster plugin, and you can see the Molox. The Molox, it's one kind of plugin. So using this plugin, we can easily uh, manage the future prediction work using artificial neural network or cellular automation. Okay, so I simply search here this plugin. Us. So this is the plugin. So plugin provides a set of algorithm for land use change simulation, such as artificial neural network or LR. So different types of simulation model we can easily access using the MOLAS. Okay, and this MOLAS modules for land use change simulation. Okay, so now we try to use this plugin, and further we try to make the prediction. So let's go try to predict. So now this type of data, mainly 2000, 2010 and 2020, simply import in our QGIS software. So for importing that these things, we can simply do it. So just uh, I try to keep for 1000 and 2010 and 2020. So map, I simply my QGIS software. So now it look like that. Okay. So we find out this type of color so it's not important so in this case we try to use this three land use land cover map basically these two land use land cover we set for initial and final and another land use land cover map we try to use for reference okay so using the reference we try to find out that uh accuracy so let's go try to do it so for doing this thing just i click on here raster and go to the molas here you can see the molas just i click on here so now initial and final so just i keep 2000 and final i keep 2010 okay i want to do it for 2000 and 2010 and 2020 i want to use as a reference and a special variable i set for initial 2000 so now after doing this set that uh, this type of things then we click on the check geometry so it shows the geometry is the mast okay mainly a geometry pixel or resolution or pixel size or pixel size is the similar so now we try to find out for other so you can see evaluating correlation so in this time we find out that different types of correlation pearson correlation kamar's coefficient join information uncertainty so pearson correlation is set and then check it so we find out there is no problem okay it's work so now we try to check the area change okay so area change mainly 2000 to 2010 how much area change we can easily do it so just click on the update tables so now it's working and we find out that area change so we also set the square kilometer unit so from here we got this type of result for area change you can see the hectare unit Or a square kilometer we try to keep in here and also get the confusion matrix table so we also create the change map and the change map I want to just uh, apply for a new folder suppose in the download file I want to simply uh, create a new folder get that prediction data for Okay. Right, so in folder we try to the change map change map 2000 to 2010 save it so now change map is generate
So we find out this type of change map here you can see. Okay, so basically this represent the result for change okay, or transition mainly 0 to 0, 1 to 0 to 1, 0 1, 0 mainly formal, formal to formal, formal to informal, formal to water, formal to forest, and formal to uh, build up. Okay, so the formal to parent land. Okay, so same as so 1 0 1 1 1. So we can get this type of change map. So further, we also try to make the map using arc map for the better visualization for change map or change detection map. So we find out this type of result. And now back to the Molas plugin, and we also get this type of change. Here you can see percentage. How much percentage for the formal, informal? So this type of area we already calculated. Okay. So you can easily get this uh, idea. So if you want, you can simply copy this type of things, copy this type of things, copy this type of information, and further we can also work. For that uh, your QGIS software between the 2000 and 2010 we find out that how I can see the formal 60 16 percent and uh, and 2010 we find out the 20.35 percent okay and we find out the change mainly change area 5.8 percent change area we find out then we also get the 2004.1 percent and 2010 we find out that uh, informal 12.52 percent and change between 8.36 percent same as for water body we find out that and then also find out that forest area and barrel and area we find out in here so this is our one kind of result mainly change result how much you can see you can find out the negative negative mainly decreasing okay negative mainly decreasing that was 6.01 percent decreasing the forest okay 9.27 barren land decreasing okay so negative means decreasing and positive mean increasing suppose 5.8 5 5.8 formal settlement increasing 8.3 informal settlement increasing between these two time period so from this type of information you can get a lot of information and this type of information also help you to write your result okay from 2000 to 2010 what the changes how uh, how percentage of uh, barren land informal formal settlement increasing or decreasing we can easily get it 5.8 percent settlement 5.8 percent formal settlement increasing 8.36 percentage informal settlement increasing 1.01 water body increasing 6.01 forest decreasing 9.27 barren land decreasing because it's a negative okay so we try to just copy because this information further you also need. Just I copy it, copy. Try to copy, and I try to export it in a Excel file. So further it also need for your work for analysis. Okay, just I try to do it using our folder download. So prediction data for Konarki. So I try to open a cell file. Result for 2000 to 2010. How much increasing or decreasing? How much percentage of uh, barrel land build up? These things we can easily get it from here. We try to paste here. Okay, I randomly sub here formal informal partner forest forest. Formal, informal, water body, forest, and barren land. Okay, and we also get this type of result. Suppose how it, it's a percentage. Okay? A percentage. We find out that right in here thousand and thousand ten, and also find out the change. Okay, so how much increase or decrease? So we find out here uh, the year of two thousand. Uh, sixty point four six percent. The percentage, 
and further to so then we'll find out the Uh, 12.52 4, uh, 4.16 4.16 5.35 5.5 further 5.5 then 40.96 30.0 0.96 30.0 then 40 point, 30 point, 40 point zero. Is it is it 33? Is that be 30.04? Yeah, oh, yeah, 33.04 is correct. Yeah. Now we find out, then also to the, can we find out the result? Twenty two, twenty two, five two percent. No, not twelve. Twenty two point three five. Five. Two point five two. Two to the 4.95 5.89 and 20.7 7 7 percent and now we find out that delta so parallel land decreasing negative 9.7 percent then forest is also decreasing Negative six one it decreases and further water body increase what's in water body and then formal settlement informal settlement in percentage and formal settlement five point eight nine five point five point we find out this result one result for year of uh, for the conarchy 1000 to 2010 for changes so it's it also important when you want to write your result so you can easily check it and further you also try to explain the result section how much uh, water body or informal increasing 8.36 percent increasing between these two time period but they also also calculate for others year also so you find out this type of result just i save okay so after doing these things, uh, for calculating these things, now back to the QG. And now after oh, we already make the uh, change map. Okay, so this map we also create using after arc map software for more better. So now transition potential modeling. Okay, so in this this is the potential modeling. In this modeling, we try to apply the artificial neural network. Okay, and multi layer perceptron we try to apply in here. So different types of uh, method weighted of evidence multi criteria evaluation logistic regression so for the different method we have to use the different but in this case we try to apply the cellular automation using artificial neural network so just i put here artificial neural network and overall things is okay so now we try to train the neural network okay so now it also uh, check the Kappa accuracy for your tra training and this Im it's important for your uh, your prediction accuracy mainly artificial neural network accuracy what we can got so it's working so here you can see and this is the neural network uh, neural network learning cur curve so in this curve it's this type of uh, green color indicating the train data and this type of red color indicating about the validation data so if you check the result here you can see we find out the current validation kappa 93 percent okay so we find out that a 93 percent for our model after applying this artificial neural network we find out the train and validation mainly train set and test set we find out that accuracy is the 93 percent very good there is no problem so further this type of chart is also need so for that we also need to save it so just click on here save the figure 
and this figure I want to save in my folder. So my folder is that which one prediction data for Konarki. So just I put here the name ANN artificial neural network train and validation chart validation chart chart and I save it and it will save and further if okay so we also take the take uh, write this value because this is our accuracy I simply put the value further when you write the result you also edit it the kappa kappa for artificial neural network find out that 93 percent you can find out so we also note down this value further for our result or we need to mention about that so now we find out this type of neural network and this neural network i want to apply for cellular automation or cellular automata simulation so now certainty function is not need just we try to find out the prediction map so now if i just predict so which year i can got so in this case if i predict for the first time 2000 to 2010 then we find out that 10 years interval okay so mainly we predict for 2020 okay first of all we predict the 2020 and i already make the 2020 map okay so i already make the map okay you can see this is the map for 2020 we already make the map for 2020 but now i want to predict the 2020 and further i want to just use this map as a reference okay and further we also predict for 2030 and 40 same process so let's go try to predict for 2020 because i already have 2020 data and this data i can easily make the check the uh, accuracy using this data okay because this data i already calculated i already make it okay so now after i will just make the predict so simulate result i simply put in here and i put the put this thing suppose in here i just put the uh nation Okay. So now it create the map, mainly it create the prediction map 2020 using artificial neural network. And further for checking the validation using this 2020 future prediction map and which map I already created, then we can easily find out the accuracy. So let's go ahead just start. So now it will be work you can see prediction we find out. So now it predict using the artificial neural network okay and this neural network we find out the cup accuracy 93 percent so now it predict for 2020 further i already make the map for 2020 so then we can easily check the validation or accuracy for the prediction so further using the same process we also try to predict for 2030 then 40 and 50 okay so one by one we try to do it so it takes some time for predicting prediction result for after simulation if you check the layer so here you can, see you can get the one kind of simulation 2020 it just right just only open the map so we find out this type of map okay this is the prediction map 
simulation map for prediction okay so this map we generate using artificial neural network so now further i want to check the validation mainly check for this map what is the accuracy for the prediction map what is the accuracy so for doing these things we just keep on the validation here you can see the validation so now you can see here simulated map i already in input simulation 2000